I will show you a method to make high voltage capacitors using aluminum foil, disposable plastic dishes and a bit of baby oil which is nothing more than mineral oil. These capacitors are useful for making Tesla coils, high voltage multipliers and other similar projects that involve high voltage. With the help of a cardboard form, cut your aluminum foil so that it fits nicely on the bottom of the dish. And we have this tongue here that will be one of the terminals of the capacitor. The aluminum foil will be one of the plates of our capacitor. For a basic capacitor we need three dishes and two pieces of aluminum foil. We will put some drops of oil in one of the plates and spread it with a paper towel. You have to be careful not to left any air bubbles because that will reduce the performance of the capacitor and will eventually ruin it because of the corona effect. Now we will put oil in the bottom of another plate and put it above the first. Now repeat the process, put oil in the dish, then the second aluminum plate with the tongue in the opposite side of the first, more oil in the bottom of the third plate and put it above the other two. The capacitor is now ready. Additionally, if you want, you can apply glue to fix the plates together. This capacitor should withstand some 10,000 volts and for the capacitance let's measure it now. Okay, so we have a bit more than half a nanofarad of capacity. If you want to increase the capacity you can simply add more layers. So you put another foil, aluminum foil, then another plate, then other piece of aluminum foil and another plate on top and you will have a capacitor of one nanofarad. And of course you can continue to add layers to increase the capacity. This is what it looks like if we add a second layer. In blue we have the disposable dishes, we have five of them, and in black the aluminum plates. We have one, two, three and four. And we will interconnect one and three to form one terminal of the capacitor and two and four to form the second terminal of the capacitor. If we add a third layer, we will interconnect one, three and five and two, four and six and so on if you add more layers. Here for example I added another layer so we have one, two, three and four aluminum plates and of course here we have five disposable dishes. So now let's test our homemade capacitor. I will use my homemade high voltage power supply it supplies around 8000 volts DC. So let me turn it on. You can see the electric arc. 
and now I will repeat the test but putting the capacitor in parallel with the terminals of the power supply. Here I have everything connected. This is the positive and negative terminal. However, these capacitors do not have polarity, so it doesn't matter which terminal of the capacitor you use as positive or negative. Now I'm going to turn on the power supply and let's see the difference in the electric arc. Thanks for visiting my channel, hope you liked the video and see you in the next one.